sound K. After a long experiment, an American and a British researcher has finally created the super tomato. Fifteen years of experimenting and research has led to the creation of a huge ten-inch, three-pound tomato that can be shared by family of four. This isn't just a research project. This tomato can actually be bought in England now. Well, apparently, tomatoes are really good for dieting, and I bet with this super tomato, you wouldn't have to worry about eating enough for an entire day. Welcome to Sound K, and I'm your DJ Stephanie. Welcome back, everyone. You're listening to Sound K, and I'm your DJ Stephanie. Today is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, everyone. January twenty seventh, two thousand fifteen, and the first song of Sound K was Coffee. Very romantic and soft.、Uh, I just love, love. This is a very lovely song by BTS. All right, so we're going to talk about Super Tomato. So the tomato. I think I told you about how Korean like to eat tomato with sugar. Some of you were like, "What sugar?" Well, yes. Sugar. Well,、uh, when I was younger, my grandmother used to make that. It's kind of like um, a marinated、uh, tomato with the sugar. Show, show. <laughs> so I was re- it was for the dessert or、um, whenever I was not feeling for a food, my grandmother made that for me. But when I was in Japan, I ate it with salt. So most of Japanese.、Uh, the, They do eat tomato with salt, so you know what? Both has totally different flavors, but I just love love those both of the flavors. But nowadays, I just eat it, just eat it, and sometimes I eat with a salad dressing, such as ranch is the best thing ever, or sesame dressing. Well, back to intro. I'm sorry about that. Well, it says that this tomato it is big enough to serve four families. And can you imagine? Ten inch is like like、mm, when we think of one inch, it's two point five centimeter. So it's it's huge. It's so so big. I'm very curious. And it says that you can buy that in England. So if our listener who are tuned in from England. Let me know. Have you guys seen that before? That's really interesting. Super tomato. All right, so definitely it will make that family dinner table very, very happy. So tonight's intro question for our amazing listeners is: What is your family's favorite ingredient or side dish that's always on your dinner table? Okay, once more. What is your fav、uh, family's favorite ingredients or side dish that's always on your dinner table? So,、uh, in Korea, especially when I was younger, when I used to live with my parents,、uh, kimchi was always on the dinner table, but it was not my favorite because it was too spicy for me. So, but、um, white、uh, cabbage. Um, kimchi, it was okay, but I was not a big fan of it. But my family loved it, and I told you guys that, that I used to live with my grandmother, so you know it's always still on our family's at dinner table. I just wish that I can have, I can eat this one dinner with our whole family. Hmm. Anyways, all right. So、uh, before we move on, I want to share about this、uh, video clip and eighties and Rita. Uh, Adis, you said Sound K Family Project. Hello, this is Sound K Family. Only remember the project Corey agreed to keep secret. Yes, I remember. It was a week ago, and it's ready. And the amazing Rita, of course, Rita Rudy Fourteen made the video for us. So here is our intro, and this is the video from us to the Sound K staff. We are one big family. You know what? Um. Of course, our writer Taeyong showed me this incredible video clip, and I actually wrote the reply. So, if you guys have the time, make sure to check that.、Uh, it's a short reply, but that is just amazing. It extremely touched me, and I got really teary too. Woo, woo! And I saw beautiful faces and felt your love, of course. And、um, 
Oh my goodness. I really want to thank you guys again for supporting me and showing your love. I could definitely feel that. So thank you very much. I love you all, everyone. All right. So make sure to send in your messages on our message board or you can say hello on our message board. It is arirangradio.com slash sound K. What we're going to do is listen to one more track and come back. This is Nega Nega Whisper by Tetisa. Quiz, quiz, quiz. All right, are you guys ready for tonight's daily quiz? And here is the question, so listen very, very carefully. A K-pop idol singer is planning to release a solo single album, R-O-S-E, this coming March 4th in Japan. For this album, the singer is said to have produced everything on his own, starting from the jacket cover, music video, to the entire concept of the album. On this album jacket cover, each letter on the ROSE logo has a different meaning. The R stands for the greenhouse that protects the flowers, and the O is the flowers, and the S is the stem, and the E is the vase. And this album contains the title song R-O-S-E alongside a song just for the fans called Happy Birthday. This album will have a total of six songs that the singer composed on his own. And this 2PM member made his solo debut in 2012 with his title song Sexy Lady and has gained immense popularity since then. So who is the 2PM member who is releasing his solo album R.O.S.E. on March 4th? Number one, Taekyeon. Number two, Woo Young. Number three, Nikun. Once more, number one, Taegyun. Number two, Woo Young. Number three, Nikun. So now, let's have only the answers so written on our message board. So log on to our website, www.arirangradio.com slash soundk and leave us your answers. Of course, we'll announce the winners on our message board. So be sure to check that out. This time, we will be giving away the signed CD of Lucas. So be sure to leave us your answers on our message board starting now. Once again, it's arirangradio.com slash soundk. We have a Chloe Wu from the United Kingdom saying the first song, Coffee. Love this song by BTS. So sweet. Yes, it's a very sweet, sweet song. And of course, we have a Calvin Ty from the States saying hello. It's my last week of a winter break. Okay, already. And goodbye to the days of slipping in and going out with my friend and staying up late to listen to Sound K. Oh, don't go away, Kevin. And a hello to the days of waking up early, attending school, and staying up late doing homework and maybe listen to Sound K. I know, Kevin, it's really early in the morning. It's 4 or 5 a.m. in the States. But thank you very much because you're always very supportive. But you know what? I still remember that Valentine's Day is coming and I know that you're going you're going for the confession, right? So good luck, Kevin. We're here to support you. All right. Okay. So while our listeners participate for the daily quiz answers, what we're going to do is listen to more tracks. First song is Cheers by Keiko Yankee featuring Benzino and Baby Lon and followed by Chumbi Cold Rain by 4 Minute. That was a very emotional song. Welcome back, everyone. You're listening to Sound K, and I'm your DJ, Stephanie. We have a reader, of course, Rudy Fortin from Lebanon, saying, Hello, DJ Stephanie. Hope you liked our video project. Like? I loved it. Oh, oh my goodness. Seriously, I was so, so surprised and uh, impressed. Seriously. Oh my goodness. Thank you very much. I think, Rudiv, uh, Rita, you did good, 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 amazing job to make that video. So thank you very much. And you were having a great day. Yes, of course. You guys totally made my day. And here we usually have um, Lebanese bread with every meal. Okay. And it's close to non bread, but thinner and lighter. Okay, and it's tradition to eat almost every dish with bread. And I usually don't um, eat uh, upside by that well, because I prefer to really taste the food in the dish. Oh, you don't uh, want that as a side dish. 
Oh, okay. Well, uh, I love naan. Non bread, bread. That's really flat, and I don't eat curry. But whenever I have to go to that, um, you know, Indian restaurant or some kind of um restaurant that's uh they cook with curry, I always order non bread, and I just eat that only. And it's very a、uh, chewy and very tasty. And you said it's thinner and lighter. I think that sounds amazing. And Rudy, I know that I missed your message yesterday, right? Well, I'm so sorry about that, but I have it. You say hello, Stephanie, Nuna. I'm tuned in from the first day, and I am done with my Monday courses, so I am freely tuned in. Thank you very much. I think. I think you are an amazing, amazing person. You have a really big heart. Thank you very much, and also for your feedback message. And we have Chloe Wu from the United Kingdom saying, "Ah, salad dressing." So I don't think that I've had ranch dressing before. No, really, try that. It's amazing. I love ranch. It's so tasty. Well, we always have Caesar or、uh, mayonnaise.、Uh, mayonnaise, okay. I love Caesar salad too. Mm-hmm. And we are going to have some salad today with lasagna and some rice. Oh, good lasagna! I'm so excited for dinner later. What will you be eating, Stephanie? Well,、uh, Chloe, to answer your question, I、uh, have. I didn't have time to eat dinner tonight, but I will eat probably a huge meal after our show. <laughs> so、uh, have a great dinner. Thank you very much for your feedback message. And we have a DB Squana ninety one from Romania saying, "OMG, DJ Stephanie, while I was listening to you,、uh, the small beautiful bird hit my window." And she fell to the ground. Oh no! And she can't fly anymore. So I took her inside, and I hope she won't die. What? What happened? Okay, so everyone, let's pray for the little bird. Oh, poor bird. Why? What happened? Well, Dibi Squan、uh, Simeon, actually, uh, maybe you can take care of that bird, right? Oh, but thank you very much for your message. Oh my goodness! And we have a new lesson from Tunisia saying new look. Hello, cute. How are you? I have a new look, and now I have bangs. Oh, you do? That's amazing. I always play with my bangs too. It's like um, to uh today I have that I don't have like heavy heavy, uh bangs, but I do have a little bangs tonight. But most of times I put it in the side or in the middle. It doesn't really matter. But I love to change my looks and style. All right, new from Tunisia. Thank you very very much. And let's share one more. We have Adis from Iceland. Hello, Sound K. I am so happy that you liked our video. Yes, of course. And it's our way to give. Back the love、uh, that that you have given us, and expect more love in the future. Yes, of course. And I want to say I totally understand that you eat tomato with sugar. Oh, you do. Tomatoes in Iceland are very bitter, so I do that too. Is it okay? But when I lived at home, our side dish was potatoes. I love potatoes, and it's the most common side dish in Iceland. The mashed potatoes, boiled raw. You eat raw potato also? Okay, that's interesting. And caramel covered, even sweet potatoes. I'm a big fan of sweet potatoes too, and I never really like them though. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really. I love potatoes. Mm-hmm. Like fries and sweet, even sweet potato fries is so delicious. Oh my goodness, my mouth is watering. Oh, why? Well, anyways, thank you very much for your feedback messages, everyone. And once more, I want to thank our listener for that video project that you guys did, that you guys made for me. All right, so let's listen to one more amazing track and come back. This is. You by G Soul. Welcome. It's time for Sound K. Yeah. All right, what's good, Stephanie? Take it over. Chloe Wu from the UK say, "Jiso, so in love with the, his voice." And、uh, when you were talking about food, O N G Stephanie, making me hungry. I know I'm hungry, so I'm starving right now. I feel like eating chips, fries, and ketchup. 
O L G. Mm-hmm. All right. So today we have our popular corner. Tell me, tell me what Corey in our studio. So from small embarrassing question to troubles that have been weighing you down for a long time, we're standing by to listen to you and help you out. And we'll also be giving you a cheer up song in addition to our advice. So make sure to participate for Tell Me, Tell Me. And on 29th, that's on Thursday, we are going to invite. Nom in our studio. They're back with this amazing song. So make sure to send in your questions for Nom. This is the second time、uh, for me to interview them, and I'm very excited to see them again. And we need more messages for our segment corners on Tuesdays. We have Tell Me Tell Me with Corey, like today, where we give you advice. And on the Wednesdays, we have Heart to Heart. This time, we are going to talk about love. If you have any curiosity about romance, Jesse and Benji and me, we are here to help you out with. And then on Sundays, we let you, our listeners, become the DJ of the night with my. Playlist. So please leave us one theme, one topic with three song choices that you like to hear, and the reason why that you pick those songs. And please keep those messages coming on our message board. Let's move on to blah blah blah. We, I actually have an interesting question for our listeners. Your everyday thoughts turn into a great line, and let us know each other better through blah 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 message. So listen to tonight's topic, and the topic is. What is a big turnoff behavior on the first date? So、um, I just randomly came up with this question because these days when you watch this K drama,、um, there's a lot of like a first love, first date. Or something, something like that, right? And、um, I'm sure that our listener have been on a date, and I got curious, and I actually asked this question to DJ Adrian. He was so so funny. Oh my goodness! So this is this was his、uh, answer. Excuse me. So,、uh, what is the big turn off behavior on the first day for Adrian? He said, "When the girl is disrespectful to like people, the workers. When you go to restaurant, if she's um, um, disrespectful for the to the people who work there, then it's a big turnoff. And、um, when that girl is not focused on conversation, when that girl is only focused on the smartphone, that's a big turnoff too. And this is quite interesting. But he says, he said, girls who walk." On heels, and、um, uh, excuse me, no, that's not it. Girls who cannot walk on heels, that's a big turn off. Turn off for him, isn't that funny? He said it's okay to wear heels, but if that girl is off balance every time when she walks, then it's a big turn off. I was laughing so so hard. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I want to ask our listeners, what is a big turn off behavior on the first date? Me personally, um, uh, I actually experienced this, yeah. But when the guys talk like too much of the personal thing, then it's like a, it's like I'm like I don't need to know that information, you know, uh, because I want to keep that distance first because I want to feel that like butterfly in my tummy or something like that. But um, if a guy it talks too much, then I'm like uh. Okay, thank you, but I don't need to know that, you know. So I wanted to ask our listeners: make sure to send in your messages with the title "blah blah blah." All right, so we have Aneta from Israel saying today's question feedback message: My fa- family's favorite side dish is just fresh vegetables salad. Mmm, fresh fresh veggies. So we could we cut to small cubes. Uh, tomatoes, okay, and sweet red pe- pepper and cucumbers, and sometimes we add onions and parsley. We flavored it with some olive oil and salt. Olive oil and salt—that's amazing too, and it's so delicious and super healthy. 
When I was in Korea, I made this salad to my Korean friends and they said it's delicious. Yes. Thank you very much for your feedback message. And we have myself from the Philippines saying hello. Good evening, pretty DJ. Hello, hello, myself. I saw the video made by the Sound K family. Great job, you guys. And I was just wondering, where was I when they planned this project? Oh, myself. Haha. <laughs> and I want to be a part of that project too. Maybe next time, right? Okay, myself. Don't be too sad about that. But thank you very much for your support always, okay? And we have Avla from Morocco saying good evening. Hello, Stephanie. Did you read the news about Vix? They will be making a comeback with a remake single album. Oh, really? February will be uh, having so many comebacks. I know. A lot. A lot of artists will make their comeback. All right. And we have Olivia from the States saying, Hello, DJ Stephanie. These days, I don't cook. And neither does my family. <laughs> so who cooks? Um, but when I was a kid and my parents cooked, my favorite side was bread with butter. Butter makes everything so tasty uh-huh thank you very much olivia from the state and let's share one more we have melanie from friends hello stephanie Oni. i missed you i missed you too melanie so when i was with my mom it will be steak my mom even told me that since i uh, eat so much like meat steak i would turn into one <laughs> no you won't but now i think it will be noodles i love noodles sometimes better than rice mm -hmm. melanie so don't worry about that you're not going to turn into noodles or or um steak no but thank you very much for your cute message. All right, so let's listen to more track. This is Punongshin Red Shoes by IU. Yeah, so that was Pop Hanbo Not Enough by 6 to 8. And Carolyn from Estonia saying, I love this song. I love this song too. All right, so let's share more messages. We have a new from Tunisia saying, Sad. Oh, I didn't know about the project. I am sad that I wasn't a part of it. No, 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 no. Don't be sad about that. Um, no, please, please, please. And, um, I know that, uh, some of our listeners participated and, um, joined for that video project, but don't be too sad about that, right? We have more times and we can do more things, right? So, no, mm, please, please. And uh, whoever's feeling sad, don't be sad about that. Please. Okay. Thank you very much for your uh, message. And we have Melanie from France once more. And this is the blah, blah, blah feedback message. LOL. Adrian Opa. He's, he's funny, man. Actually, I never dated, so I don't really know. Ooh, but Melanie, in the near future, if you go on a date, make sure to uh, give us the updates. Okay. And we have Simeon from Romania saying, I don't like guys who try to make skin con skin contact on the first date. Oh, skinship. And like grabbing my hands or touching my hair. They touch your hair on the first date. It's like, uh, excuse me, can you not touch my hair? That's so awkward. <laughs> But actually, that's a very funny feedback message, TV Squad. I love it. And we have 80s from Iceland. So, uh, bragging. Uh-huh, bragging. Totally, definitely. It's a big, big turnoff. OMG. On the first date, I don't want to hear how much money he makes. Yeah, that's not really important. Well, sometimes it's important, but not on the first date. Well, I don't want to hear how many friends he has, and I don't want to know how much he works out every week. Never again. <laughs> oh, so you experienced it. I see that. 80s from Iceland. Thank you very much. And we have Aneta from Israel saying, A big turn off on first date. If the guy is smoking. Oh, yes. Bingo. That's also a big turn off. The biggest turn off ever. I just can't stand the smell. Yeah. If the guy is too flirty also, I just don't like it. 
flirting. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure that he's gonna do that with the other woman too. Ah,、uh, and it's embarrassing and make me feel uncomfortable. And tell Adrian that I'm great with heels. <laughs> okay. Thank you very very much. You wear heels every almost every day. I see. And we have Abla from Morocco saying, "I don't like guys who start talking about their、uh, dating experiences." Oh, that's a big excuse. Really? Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, it's like we don't know, like we don't need to know your personal experience. Uh huh. You're with me. Excuse me. You know. And also, I pay so much attention to the guy's nails and hands. Really? Is there any、um, particular reason for that? I am weird, and <laughs> no, you're not weird. I know, but I really don't like to see the dirt on the other、uh, on the nails. Oh, okay, that explains a lot. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, let's uh, share one more. We have Anat and Luna fly from Malaysia saying hello, Stephanie and Nia. I just woke up from a long, long afternoon nap, and it is a bit late to tune in today. By the way, glad that you liked the video that Sound K family made for you and for Adrian's feedback. I feel like he is saying me. Just a lot. Last one, walking on the hill and a lost balance. It's me. <laughs> You're very cute. <laughs> All right, Natalie. Thank you very much. All right, so it is our time to wrap up the first part of the show. But I will see you guys on part two with Corey in our studio. The last song is "Even If Cho Never Ever" by Tian, and see you guys on part two. Tell me. Tell me. Those things you couldn't tell your friends and family. From the smallest to the most serious problems. Everything goes away. Tell us all about it. We'll give you great advice and even cheer you up with some great songs. Uh huh. And it is tell me. Tell me. Uh huh. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Corey. Corey. Tell Corey. Me, Corey. Tell Corey. Me, tell Corey. Me. You did not tell me about this video project that you guys. Oh, I didn't because I know how to keep my mouth shut. Oh my goodness. It would have been so stupid if I was to just go back behind their backs and be like, like, Hey, yo, you know what's going on? <laughs> Let me tell、weird. you. These people are working really hard, but you know I might as well. Spoil it for you because um. But you knew、yeah. that since last week. That's it, betrayal. It is, it is. It is what it is. But I thought it was beautiful. Oh my goodness! I, See, I I am not.、Uh, I don't know how to edit videos at all. I don't either. I don't know if I could drop you know names of you know softwares, but there is you know like the default software on every PC and Mac. And the music, right, computers, like, right? Uh huh. And the music, the Happy Together Park Hyun song that was amazing,、oh, right, right, very right. suitable.、Okay. And I saw everyone's.、Um, Were you tearing up? You're like, oh my goodness! I seriously, <sighs> I don't know how to give this love back. Hey, you started it, in my opinion. No, no, no! I'm not taking away <laughs> anything away from the Sound K family. I'm just saying, you even, you know, you're always on radio, working hard to make these people smile. Well, it's、not、my job. That, yeah, yeah, it's your、I、job, but you enjoy it. it exactly. But at the same time, you know, you like what I was like most impressed by was the fact that Stephanie was yeah, yeah. Stephanie took the time to go through her old stuff, and you know, you gave people an opportunity to read on something that really enlightened you in your life about that book I'm talking about. Oh.、Uh, Right. Yeah. I And I thought that was、share. really cool. So I think it's a give win win situation. I thought that was really cool from Sound K family to do that.、Mm-hmm. It was really cool for you to you know just yeah. I think this is a really cool synergy you guys have. Yeah, it's amazing, amazing. This synergy、mm-hmm. effect that you just talked yeah, about. Absolutely. And、um, I don't know. Seriously, I don't know how to react to this one, but、uh, mm-hmm. I really was overwhelmed. Me. Yeah. With this all this positive energy. Yeah. And, Seriously, I am holding up my tears, but、mm-hmm. uh, when I go back home tonight, I'm gonna cry so、mm-hmm. hard. Oh my goodness, you guys have no <laughs> idea. For sure, that was awesome, guys. Like, oh my, uh, <laughs> <I'm> like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay, Corey, I was about to ask you that. What is the big turnoff on the first date? Like a big turnoff、um, behavior that girls do on a first date? But have you ever specifically like just on a first date, right? Yeah, even one,、uh, just one,、mm, mm. just one. I don't like it when I take a girl out to a restaurant. You know, I'm big on eating.、Mm-hmm. I like talking about food. I love cooking. I love everything about eating. But when I'm at a restaurant and I'm with somebody so picky that or she said that or, too. DJ Adrian said that too. Right. 
if I can't enjoy eating with you, that's just, I'm, I can't, I clearly can't go, like, that's the first step. If we can't enjoy food together, we're done. Oh. Because that's such a big part of my life. Okay. Right? So it's like, a, uh, I'll have a chicken Caesar salad with, without Caesar dressing. No, no, yeah, it's like, <laughs> no, it's, just it's like no general. dairy, mm-hmm. no anything, no butter, right, right. no and whatever. I think the better way to generalize it is just to say that if, just somebody who doesn't eat. Oh, okay. You know, who doesn't like enjoy eating at all? <laughs> oh my god, it's kind of hard. You guys have very specific. Um, right, but that's about it. A thing. I'm not too picky. Right, not too picky. Okay, and eighties from Iceland. This is another random question from her. Right. Um, random question. What is your favorite superhero? Me? Yeah. My favorite superhero. Goodness, mm-hmm. it was Spider Man. It used to be. <laughs> Right now, it's just kind of up in the air. Anybody could take. Have you seen uh, Masters of the Universe no. recently? I don't oh my watch goodness. movies. You, you know, have to you know watch that. that movie. What? You have to. Okay. Just give it a chance. <laughs> it, there, yeah. It's. I never even knew about that. Com- that. Uh, that's movie. That, that movie. Well, let alone just the comic. The origi- okay. It's from Marvel. Wait a minute. I, I shouldn't be dropping all these yeah, movies, right? Yeah, don't say yeah, that. Yeah, just there's a new character that I got to you know find out through the new release. Uh-huh. And yeah, this superhero was really fun, down to earth, very modern in a sense, but it's based on a really old comic, okay. which was awesome. And I, he's runner up right now. Yeah, he, I don't, I forgot I don't his read name, but c- comic books also. Mm-hmm. No, I didn't either, but I could totally relate to this guy. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Speaking of which, what about you? Uh, Do you have a favorite superhero? Well, I, um, um, if you had to choose one, um, I will say um, Iron Man. Iron okay, yeah, let's Iron move on. Uh, actually, before we move on, uh, let's share this one message. Actually, this is a very cute message from mm-hmm. Ho Yedin from Korea. Mm-hmm. And uh, guess what? She is very young, but she wrote it everything in English. So saying, oh, hello, awesome. it's me again. I know you uh, You were tuned in last night also. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I will go to middle school next month. Oh, she's a baby. She's a baby. She's a baby. Wow, impressive. And I am excited. Look at this. Mm-hmm. The, the, all the grammars and everything right, is right, just right, so right. On point. perfect. Yes, I am excited and a bit uh, worried. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting new friends <laughs> and studying a new and a hard things that make me excited about middle school. That's awesome. But I am worried if the school will be a little more strict than elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> This, this is, is some cutest. serious business to her, though. This I know, but this is the That's so cutest, funny. <laughs> cutest message That's ever. Awesome. Okay, so Yerin, uh, we'll pray for you, of Yerin? course. Yerin. Yerin. Uh, oh, okay. ama- I think she has a beautiful, beautiful name uh-huh. also. Mm-hmm. And you know what? You will make like a bunch of new friends and that's like one of the greatest thing in your life because i am still friends Mm -hmm. of um the friends who are um who i met them in elementary school so more than 20 years Mm -hmm. and we are keeping this good amazing friendship that's awesome and i'm sure that she can make more more new (laughs) friends so yes yet in fighting you're up baby Gear up. So cute. <laughs> okay, and uh, uh, we have to move on to our first uh, tell me, tell me message. Yeah. But it's actually a little long, uh-huh. but I'm going to read it rapidly, okay? okay? Okay, this is a Heli 3 from Morocco saying, Hello, Corey and Stephanie. Hello. So I need advice. My mom is scared of many things. She mm-hmm. has anxiety and she takes pills for that. She, mm-hmm. she sees the doctor and everything. Right. And uh, that's why she doesn't allow me to go on trips sometimes when mm-hmm. her condition is worse than the other days Mm -hmm. so I will be 20 this year and when my friends ask me to travel with them Mm -hmm. just to another city and mom doesn't want to Mm -hmm. I don't uh, insist but it's awkward with Mm -hmm. my friends I feel like it's not my uh, it's not her secret it's not our listeners secret Mm -hmm. it's my mom's secret and I also don't want them to have the weird thoughts because Mm -hmm. they won't understand Uh, they are my friends and I love them and mm-hmm. I also hate lying. Mm-hmm. I never lie without a valid re- reason mm-hmm. and a reason mm-hmm. and I am bad at making one making mm-hmm. excuses. Uh, right, right, right. And since uh, they don't know the truth. Mm-hmm. Uh, when other friends are involved and we are planning something together, mm-hmm. my close friends turn to me and she's like, uh, uh, would your mom allow you to go? Mm-hmm. 
she asked that her friend asked that,、mm-hmm. and I hated it. And、mm-hmm. I mean, when it's just us, I don't mind. But with other people, lying is so、mm-hmm. uh, easier.、Mm-hmm. And I hate liars.、Mm-hmm. And I would seriously hate myself if、mm-hmm. I lie. But why should I tell personal things、mm-hmm. to other people?、Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh huh, which is very understandable.、Mm-hmm. I don't have any、uh, justify anything. Right, right, right. What should I do about this? Okay, so telling about the personal stuff. Right. Corey, do you think、mm-hmm. um, it is okay? Sometimes it's better to keep in secret. Keeping secrets, I mean that that's that's really up to everyone's like it's it's like an individual just. I guess it really depends on the situation. Yeah, I think、uh-huh. it really depends on the situation.、Uh-huh. Haley, Nua, actually,、uh, you don't really have to share that if you're if you feel uncomfortable. Right. But the funny thing is, I think again, this is. I don't feel like Nua here needs to feel out of the ordinary, because、mm-hmm. I feel like at a certain level, every all the parents have anxiety、right. about their about, kids,、uh-huh. about just being alone. Because, I mean, I feel like I'd be the same way, and I don't think this is being crazy. No, 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 no not no, too but, I mean, much. But, but she just don't like to lie about it, and cover、right. everything, you know. Right. I mean, but if you feel like this is. I mean, on point. If we're just talking literally about whether it should should she be, you know, open about it or not, right? Because that's really up to you. I can't put words in your mouth. If you feel uncomfortable about talking about your mom's anxiety,、mm-hmm. that's really, you know, nothing's gonna make you tell people. But for sure, if you feel like you could talk about it, and in my honest opinion, I think you could talk about this. And I don't think this to her make, friends. Yeah, I don't think it makes your mom look bad. Like, I I think people will understand. It's like I in fact, if your friends are really real friends,、uh-huh. Uh-huh, I'm sure they'd be like, oh, you know what? They could laugh about it. It's like, dude, my parents are like that too, because all parents are kind of crazy, like, right? And, and out of love, yeah,、mm-hmm. out of love, seriously.、Mm-hmm. And Nua and、uh, I personally think that if your friends bothering you、mm-hmm. with、uh, all those questions,、mm-hmm. then you don't really have to go through the details.、Right. Just say that my mom is not allowing me. Yeah, and that's、uh, the truth. Yeah.、Uh-huh. To、mm. me to visit other city because、mm. she's too worried.、Mm. You don't have to talk about her anxiety、right. or anything.、Mm-hmm. You know this could be another just just、uh, okay. a scenario,、okay. but I feel like maybe her friends are just. In fact, if anything, since the truth isn't out there, like they don't know for sure, but they might have an idea of about what's going on. Right. right? So that's so why they're, they're just trying to. Yeah, or maybe they're just trying to keep that boundary, but at the same time, they're kind of poking at you, like, hey, you know. We kind of know, so you don't have to keep it a secret. Hide. You know, maybe they're trying to make it easier for her, if anything.、Mm-hmm. You know, so but you know that、uh, whole that all this is coming out of insecurity in a in a way, right? Right. So what I'm trying to say is,、uh, I get you.、Mm-hmm. You don't have to be insecure about this because no, 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 friends no, no, no. will definitely understand. This is nothing to be ashamed of.、Mm-hmm. Right. I just want. I am just a little worried because the last paragraph that I read. Right.、Uh, I can tell that your friend already kind of know about yeah, the situation,、uh-huh. just like Corey said, and they just want to hear from your mouth,、mm-hmm. and something that's kind of rush, that, that, that right, harsh.、Uh-huh. Excuse me.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, if you do what, you kind of have to come up with the truth. If you feel right, right. uncomfortable, then just say that,、mm-hmm. hey, you know, I feel a little uncomfortable if you guys are like keep bugging me, right, right, asking right. this random question. You guys know that my、mm-hmm. mom will not allow me to、mm-hmm. go there. Right, right. And、uh, for now,、um, visiting other country will not be. Maybe she has some other specific reason, not just、right. her anxiety. She's just worried.、Mm. All parents、It's, do. All parents are like that. Yeah. And、um, uh, what are what are the good ways to kind of convince her mother, though?、Because、I don't know. Do you think there's any way? I had to deal with this too. I, I'm not about to say my mom like had. It it wasn't to the point where she needed to actually get medication, but、mm-hmm. again, my mom was really my mom was just really really sensitive in general,、mm. right? So how did you convince Silva that I just had to keep telling her I was like, mom, it's like, gonna it's be okay. okay, it's okay, it's okay. But I had to fight through it the whole time.、Oh, no way was to. it to to the point where she was like, okay, it's fine. Almost every time I go on a trip, or like I had to convince my mom that I had to go somewhere far with my friends,、mm. I had to bug her, of course, like, nonstop. Of course. But that's just that's routine for all parents. That's what I thought at least. Right, and keep in touch with your parents. Right, right. That's very important. Yeah,、right? I think you just got to make sure you have to implement the idea that you're 
responsible. Right. My dad, if I don't pick up phone, uh, I'm I'm telling the truth these days. Also, he's、right. been doing that for um twenty years, and、uh-huh. no, since I have a cell phone. Right. Right. Seriously, I don't even remember. That won't change, probably. When, <laughs> but if I don't answer、uh-huh. that call,、mm-hmm. he calls me every three seconds.、Yeah, I am not、Parents、even joking, and I'm only child, you know. Right. I, I think that may be even more. more. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. my goodness! You get all the attention from the parents.、So. Oh my goodness! <laughs> but anyways, um, what are、uh, what are the good ways? Let's think a little bit outside of the box, and、mm-hmm. I want to ask our listeners,、mm-hmm. what will be the good way to actually make Nuwa's、mm-hmm. mother feel a little bit real? Relax when、mm-hmm. she, whenever she wants to travel with her friends. Right, right, right. Okay, if you guys have any idea or、um, message to share, make、mm-hmm. sure to participate on our message board. All right, so we are going to listen to this very up tempo song and come back. This is Shikawa You Shut Up You by What's Up. Yes, welcome back, everyone.、Mm-hmm. You're listening to Sound K. I'm your DJ Stephanie. We are here with Corey. Yeah, you are. For, tell me, tell me. We have Anthony Jones from the states. I just love to pronounce the whole name, <laughs> Anthony Jones. <laughs> Anthony Jones. It's like a movie star's name. Anthony Jones. <laughs> well, hello, DJ Stephanie and Corey. Yeah. How was your Tuesday? Mine, good. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the travel tips. As I continue to plan my trip to Korea next spring, that's very exciting.、Awesome. And spring is coming. Woo-hoo. Maybe. Well, it's hard. Maybe we can meet up when I get to Seoul. Yes, of course. And I have a random question for you guys. Oh, okay, another、mm-hmm. random question.、Uh, what is your favorite late time snack or meal? Oh, oh Corey, you're don't、expert. even get me started, girl <laughs> or dude. Don't even get me started. Okay, so what's your what, snacking? Right snacking. now, I, I can't name brands though. Don't name the brands. Is that the waffle thingy? Oh,、well, the waffle.、Uh, to be honest, I'm kind of over the waffle right now. Really? He gave all our staffs and me right, right, right. and this waffle. It's like a maple syrup waffle snack. Snack cracker. Not really chips, but it's sweet. Yeah, it's sweet. But yeah, if anything, I could tell you for sure. You know how people get sweet tooth. I totally, totally get it.、Mm-hmm. I think something about sugar like really, really works on me. But how can you eat sugar and it's not late night、really... snacking? Yeah, that's the best to... time to have sweets, honey. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Because I mean, it's that... not healthy. Well, excuse me. <laughs> Then because you will, it will pump up your energy and right, it's right, hard right. for you to go to sleep. Hey, you're talking to somebody who drinks like americano before they go to sleep. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so like I'm、I、just saying, <laughs> just just out of you know. Well, excuse me. Caffeine doesn't. What about wait wait? But what about you? If you had to snack at night, you're just dying of hunger. What would you try? What would you have? Um. Okay. Uh. Probably、mm-hmm. if um my manager is tuned in right now, he's not gonna <laughs> listen to me. But um, it's two thing,、mm-hmm. which is very. It can, I can't gain weight、mm-hmm. from that. Right, First right, of right. all, of course, I'm. I'm not a big big fan of、uh, um, stir fried、uh, rice cake, which is tteokbokki. Oh right 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 right. I'm not a big big fan of it, but、uh-huh. whenever I'm hungry, you、uh-huh. want that strong taste. Right right. And、uh, you some... need that presence. Oh my goodness! <laughs> And also、uh, ramen with eggs. Oh goodness! <gasps> You're like an OG with this <laughs> ramen with eggs. That's how you do it. That's、like... how you do it. If y'all don't know, you put it in right. Wait wait. What at what point do you put in the eggs? Um. Because that makes the That makes all the difference, in my opinion. Okay, so、um, it's like a halfway. Why are we talking about? Sorry. This? Anyways, about um,、mm-hmm. uh, when I put that、mm-hmm. uh, flakes, right, 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 and right. also the、uh, the, the sauce, soup. the、mm-hmm. soup,、mm-hmm. and I put everything. I put egg also at the same. time. Oh, you time. put it all in at the same time. Yeah, but I don't stir. Oh, you let it kind of sunny side. Right, sunny side. There you go. That's her style right there, y'all. It's amazing. Pick up on it. Uh huh. Thank you very much, Anthony、mm-hmm. Jones, for your random question. And we have eighties from Iceland saying the book. Omg, I read it two times book, already. I am reading it again and again, and until Heather finds us. Look at Asia that. Asia also asked about the book. Okay, so eighties. This is what we're going to do. Uh, because since we we been trying to contact with Heather, have two thousand fourteen, but. We didn't receive any、uh, feedbacks or the message、mm-hmm. uh, from her. So, eighties. Why don't you send it to Asia first? Asia. 
Asia. Okay. Asia. Thank you very, very, very much.、Mm-hmm. And one more. This is、uh, one more from eighty saying, "Convince your mother." This is the advice. Um, oh, I didn't have that problem. My mama was always like saying okay,、uh, because she knew the people I went with. Okay,、right. as long as you keep、um, you give her the details,、right. and bringing your friends over to meet her,、mm. get to know other.、Mm-hmm. Um, Friends,、mm-hmm. and you don't have to mention anything about the trip or anything. You just show the people who you want to travel、right. with. Okay, that's、All、that's、right. a good way to go about it. Yes, eighties、mm-hmm. always. Thank you very much. All right, so it is our time to move on. Let's Corey, do it. Are you ready? This one is from our、uh, lollipop five hundred one. Yes, from Saudi Arabia.、Mm-hmm. My cat has gone missing for about two days now. Oh She's no! She's an outdoor cat. Whenever we call her, she responds, but she, we don't hear anything now. So. We've been asking our neighbors, but they really don't know what's going on.、Uh, we heard a meow, as if she、meow. was crying for help, and it's coming from my neighbor's shed.、Uh, she's been without food and water for quite a while now. Oh no! And we've been trying to knock on their doors and try to contact them, but apparently they are gone for the holidays. I've tried climbing over their fence, and it's way too tall. And there are thorns around it, so it's really too dangerous and or even impossible for me to get her. Please help. Oh wow! This is this is deep. Like when I say deep, <laughs> you're in deep. You're in deep. Cause wait a minute.、Uh, do you think the cat is stuck in that, some? Like I'm not even sure. I don't think even Nora herself is like ma- like completely sure about the situation. She or he's just kind of assuming they heard the meow from the shed. Right. But I mean, it, if it's yeah,、I'm、we、sure、don't know ha- anything about right, right, right. If, if this cat is is actually there or not. But maybe if there's、mm. possibility, we have to help、uh, her、right. out. Okay, so、uh, why? Do, because since the cat is without food and water for、right. several days,、uh-huh. so、she must be or he must be very hungry.、Uh-huh. So why don't you put like some food that could bring her、uh-huh. um, by herself? Right. If because、um, cats, they're very flexible. Right, but right, as right, long right. as she's not like stuck in this,、mm-hmm. you know, completely stuck. Yeah, just, completely stuck、yeah. that she cannot really like move.、Mm-hmm. Then that's a big, big problem. You have to call nine one one. Right. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. You have to call the authorities because, especially like if it, if you think it's like if you don't have any like contact information on your neighbor, neighbors, uh huh. You got like I, I'm sure there are ways to find it though, right? Yeah.、Um, Yellow pages or something. <laughs> well, if if the neighbors they are out of town for the holiday, yeah, I, you know? yeah, I suppose. What do you do? I mean, my best bet was absolutely call nine one or just call some kind of you know right in Korea. To get- in Korea, we have a security, of course, and I'm sure that security,、mm-hmm. uh, they're everywhere. Right. And there must be someone、mm-hmm. who take care of that, you know, territory or、mm-hmm. the apartment. Maybe the、right. apartment manager.、Mm-hmm. Um, maybe our listener Newer, you can、mm-hmm. ask the apartment manager for their number.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, but I don't think climbing up the fans. I, I don't think that's a good idea. Maybe because、right. um, that could cause some trouble. Oh no! And we don't want that. No, no, no. No, 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 no. And it's way too dangerous.、Uh-huh. So I think just like we said, either、um, try to contact、um, the neighbors first.、Mm-hmm. You know, get the information、mm-hmm. from the. Uh, the the house manager,、uh, mm-hmm. the manager, or、mm-hmm. the apartment manager, or someone at least. Didn't like the fire department help you out with this kind of stuff? Yeah, to、um, get to reach hard normally, places and stuff. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. In the states and also everywhere in the in the country,、um, mm-hmm. you kind of have to ask for help for this kind of、right. situation, especially if it's a if it's an animal.、Mm-hmm. And the best bet, I mean, everybody does it, but you know, just putting up、uh, flyers in general, just pictures of the cat. You know, call us if you flyers. Okay, right, right, flyers, flyers.、Uh-huh. And I mean, just to keep you at ease, it is she is an outdoor cat. It says right here, so right. I wouldn't worry too much for now because she's naturally for two days.、Uh-huh. I mean, you could still keep your cool about it. Right. But hopefully, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. If you feel uncomfortable、it. about it, you definitely need to, you know, 
put up flyers. You need to call your neighbor and do whatever you can. Yeah, you have to do something about it, but、uh-huh. just don't like decide to climb up the fans. Right, 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 right. Don't you know, take matters into your own hand because that could cause like legal issues too. Right, and also sometimes you really, if you cannot figure out by yourself,、mm-hmm. you have to reach out in your hands. Seriously, right, absolutely. You have to ask for help,、mm-hmm. and there will be people、mm-hmm. to help you out with. So Noor, I'm sorry that we、uh, we don't know the the actual situation and. Especially in Saudi Arabia, but、right. um, uh, yeah, our suggestion or advice is make sure to contact people. Right. All right. Thank you very much for、mm-hmm. your Tommy Tommy Noor. message, Noor. Um, before we take a music break,、mm-hmm. uh, we have Melanie from friends. Ah,、uh, this is the another、uh, personal advice for、right. our、uh, first message.、Mm-hmm. So maybe meeting her friends could help, right? The mother because、right. the mother anxiety situation, and of. Of course, like having a their number too. Oh, so、mm-hmm. share everyone's number. Right, 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 right. Well, okay, and、uh, um, I promise to her、uh, mother that she will keep her update, like when she's on the train or when she arrived. I think that's um. A、very normal thing to do. Right, just stay in contact. Right, making sure they know where you are, what you're doing, and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it will be, it will be a little like too much、mm-hmm. because sometimes we get lazy. It's like, Mom,、yeah. I'm fine, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But、and、when you're a kid, it's dude, our parents.、Yeah. <laughs> You really have. You don't want to wanna have to. Yeah, you want to feel like independent and everything. So、mm. I know it's hard. Yeah, and it's totally understandable. So、yeah. thank you very much for your advices, everyone. And we have Zero from Malaysia saying checking in.、Mm-hmm. Just finish shopping at this、uh, furniture store. Yeah. I love to. I love to、uh, shop there. Uh, uh, furniture, that, shopping? furniture shopping. I love that. You know that. I used that to take my mom used to take me out to a furniture、it. shop all the time.、So. I love it. Love it. Love、yeah. it. And working on the bedroom、mm-hmm. makeover myself.、Yeah. Ooh, zero. Oh.、Uh, yeah. That, <laughs> that store. particular store is awesome. I love that store.、Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you very much, zero, for checking in.、Mm-hmm. All right. So let's listen to one more track and come back. This is Hey Marisa. I gotta talk to you. Bye, Sunny. All right, welcome back, everyone. So, Corey, yeah, right away. Let's move on to our next. Oh, let's do that. Tell me, tell me, message.、Mm-hmm. This one is from Yulia. Yulia、uh, from Russia. Uh huh. Okay, let's see. Hello, Stephanie and Corey.、Hello. This year has just begun, and I've been managing to get sick several times. Oh no! And instead of ever getting any good rest, I've been sick almost all the holidays. Oh no! So what? Techniques do do you guys use to keep your immune system in check,、mm-hmm. or and just not get sick during the cold season?、Ah. And I look forward to your advice. All right. So、huh. what are what? Because I know you work out. I haven't for like the last month. <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> no joke. But I think no joke. I I, I swear to goodness that Aisha that I actually don't. Th- I I don't think it really helps my immune system. Working For out, me, working out. That, it's supposed to. It's supposed to make your white blood cell, you know, pump up. And no, get not really. You know what? Actually, I read this、uh, from this random article,、mm. and working out because when the man is, too, when they are too into them, their body, right, right, they start to not eat properly. Right, 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 right. I think it's just the idea of moving、mm-hmm. keeps your immune system in check, but I don't think. Aggressively working out helps your immune system. No, 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 I so, don't think so. And in fact, that's why I was about to say. To be honest, I don't know if I take good care of myself in general. <laughs> so no, it, it, what about you? Do you know how? To, is there like a system that you go by? Yes, of course.、Oh. It's not a system or something、uh-huh. like that, but I take、uh, vitamins, vitamins and calcium right, right, right. and、um, uh, omega three. Omega three is supposed to be like the bomb. My my that joints. That and flaxseed. For、Oil. my joints and、uh-huh. everything, because I'm aging, right, right. and I have to I'm right take, there with you, baby. <laughs> I have to take care of my joints too. Right, right, right. And omega three is very fish oil is very、mm. helpful. Right, right. But make sure to drink、uh, like orange juice、mm. or some juice、Fluid. that has a a, a lot of、um, vitamins because and antioxidants. Yeah, of course. And, and juice. But uh, Yulia, uh,、mm-hmm. I kind of fix myself because. I used to catch a cold,、mm-hmm. like during the summer.、Mm-hmm. Summer also, right?、Same. Yeah, 
I was fair. I was always sick,、mm -hmm. but since now I have to be responsible for、right. you know our show,、uh -huh. so I have to take care of my health. So、right. what I do is I try to eat on the right time. I kind of、mm -hmm. time myself because my bio rhythm. I know myself,、mm -hmm. and、um, to keep that meal on time, right, it's right. very very、that's... hard. Yeah, yeah, but it's really helpful. Yeah, that's what I hear. An extra, I am, you know,、uh, having this uh, support. Uh, what does、uh, supplementary? Right, right. right.、Um, the the vitamins、mm -hmm. that I have. It's a it's a one package that I eat daily. Right. So you're all about chemical balance. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that's that's how our body works. Well,、so、I think that's the best way to do it. Sometimes we need、uh -huh. some kind of help、mm -hmm. from that dietary supplement.、Mm -hmm. Right, right. Because my my problem, why I didn't, I don't have an answer for this in、uh -huh. general, and I feel weird at answering because I've I'm always looking for a system for myself because I I I like you,、uh -huh. like I don't I don't have seasonal sickness. I just I'm always sick. That's the problem with me. Like it doesn't matter、that、if it's summer or not. Immune system. Yeah, yeah. I just have a really poor immune system, and you know, I've tried taking vitamins and everything. But as far as your explanation goes, I feel like I'm always healthy when I keep my diet in balance. Could, oh, okay. Right. So I think that's why I'm agreeing with you that you know, just eating when you need to eat, keeping on schedule, and again. A good balance because you could actually have too much vitamins, right? Uh huh. Like it's useless if you have too much vitamins. Apparently. Uh huh. Normally, uh, -huh. uh people will say that it's、uh, great to have in Korea.、Mm -hmm. Uh, it's it's good to have three meals a day. Right. But for me, that's a little too much for me.、Uh -huh. So, but I eat three times. Okay, so I'm going to explain about this. Right. Um, I kind of separate two meals into three times. Uh huh. And I don't. I cannot really eat this whole um what um rice bowl. Right. So、myself. something too substantial you can't have. No, no, no. If it, it's、uh -huh. too much carbon dioxide、uh -huh. for me, so right, right. I kind of like split it in two.、Uh -huh. And I know when I was in、uh, the United States, States、mm. as a ballet dancer. Right. Um, I used to eat a lot of um. Like uh, like sandwiches,、right. like healthy sandwiches,、uh -huh. right? Like organic sandwiches instead of having this full meal Korean food because sometimes right, right. Korean food is really heavy. Like you're you're talking, there's a lot of empty calories, right? right. Not empty calories, empty carbs and empty Ent calories right. too. Right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to kind of like balance myself out between、yeah. American food and also Korean food because it has、yeah. a different ele、uh, right, right, element. Right, right, right. And as far、uh, as nutrition goes, absolutely, exactly. Because we eat stuff really salty and like spicy and stuff, that's why that balance is really hard to find for、mm -hmm. sure. So sometimes you kind of have to figure out what like other other countries' food will be nice, right? right? Believe it or not, right? But you kind of have to eat. But over like if you eat too much, that's、mm -hmm. always unhealthy.、Mm -hmm. And、uh, if you're curious,、uh, mm -hmm. if you're worried about your immune system, make sure to take vitamins. That's all I can say because that that really、right. worked for me. I, I this just popped into my head, but apparently there was a study about how people in Korea、mm -hmm. catch cold a lot less as generally just a just a population you know、uh, survey because they have kimchi. Oh, true. It has to do with garlic. So if you have a lot of garlic, apparently you have a lot more immune、good、against、point. cold. Garlic is garlic. always the number one thing、Garlic's、for your、uh -huh, immune system. And apparently, this is just for my own sake because I love making pasta. Apparently, if you have olive oil, if you cook garlic with olive oil, amazing. Yeah, no, no, it's appa apparently supposed to be even better for you because some some kind of chemical is released through the, the garlic. The chemistry between yeah, olive yeah, yeah. oils and so, garlic.、Yeah. No, no joke. So seriously, if you're gonna have pasta anyways, do that. Oh yes. Stir fry it up with some olive oil,、oh, and it's apparently、so、it's really、fun. good for you. Actually, guess what? I、uh, I made a tomato sauce pasta last、mm -hmm. night, but、uh, that tomato sauce、mm -hmm. pasta was、um, garlic、mm -hmm. and plus like parsley or something、uh -huh. like the flavor. Right. Amazing. I love pasta. So, so I might eat that. So my suggestion: eat pasta. <laughs>、oh、my goodness. Pasta and kimchi. So make sure that、um, you need to find yourself what kind of 
the like a nutrition right. like that, a system mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. you need for mm-hmm. your body. All right, right. Uh, let's uh, share this uh, short message. That's from Zero because uh, okay. uh, Zero uh, he's tuned in. Okay, from Malaysia. So Zero. if you have uh, to publish a book, if we have to publish a book, right? What kind of book or context mm-hmm. of the book will be mm-hmm. it? Uh, that's the first question. Right. And second is I'm writing my own science fiction novel. Awesome. Oh. What? That'd be fun. And it's very tiring. Right. And easy to lose con- uh, focus while mm. writing it. Right. So what you uh, what you yours be? Mm-hmm. What would yours be? Okay. Mm-hmm. So first of all, Corey. Me? Uh, what shoot. Um, genre? I, I guess science fiction. Science fiction would be something I might write too. Really? Just, just something. I, no, I don't know much thing. about sci-fi movies or stuff. Like I'm not really in tune with that, but. I feel like that'd be the most interesting because I could just literally talk about whatever I want. Well, also you have to be like, you have to be smart about that. You need information. I think I'm good at putting stuff together. (laughs) So sci-fi. Are you serious? Yeah. And I don't mean literally like not the just typical sci-fi. I mean, I just like to write about something really crazy about the universe, you know? About you, are you going to talk about, about alien or something like that? Yeah. Oh, no. I'm all, that. I'm all about that. Oh, I'm all about that. Oh, my gosh. I'm all about that. No, I don't mean like, you know, like robots and aliens. I mean, like, literally the life forms out there. Oh it's crazy. God. That's true. Because We're so insignificant. This Earth is so small compared to the yeah, galaxy out there. It's one of the small mm. stars, but because yeah. we haven't experienced the space yet. Right. That's why I like to talk about it. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> if it's fiction, then you can always talk about that. Right, Me, right, right. I will write bio. Oh, yeah, that would be fun too. I uh, I had this habit when I was um, active with our members and when we were promoting songs in Japan mm-hmm. because uh, uh, sometimes we had nothing to do. Right. And uh, there was a point that when we uh, didn't have enough to time, mm-hmm. uh, no, 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 we actually had a lot of free time. Right, right. So I wrote random things and That's cool. I always put my thoughts into words. But mm-hmm. the thing is, I could not go over one page, page one. Right, right. I cannot, I could not write more than that. Right, right. Uh, but the thing is, uh, my dream uh, at that point, I was thinking about, I would love to write about my bio. Right, right. My life because mm-hmm. I had very, wow, like Dude, crazy. Are fun. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Life and uh, and I'm still young, so mm-hmm. maybe like uh, every ten year, mm-hmm. I would like to my, uh, write my bio. And how? Yeah, yeah. I think that'd be so much fun. I, like if I actually did that, like not even ten years, but even five years, mm-hmm. just to see how I've progressed in life, or just to see what I've. Like how my mind would change because, about life. Yeah, isn't it interesting? Because we leave the mo- we live the moment. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is right now. Right, time right. is passing. Time mm-hmm. is ticking. But mm-hmm. we are saying it, and it's a present right now. Right, right. But present actually means past. Right. Right. True. And um, I always want to talk about the present things. Right. 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 Uh, or the future. But mm-hmm. in the past, I'm not too clinging about past. Right. But sometimes I feel like because I didn't, um, I didn't put or what should, how can I explain this? I, Nothing to like reminisce about the right, past. True. True. There you right, go. Right, there you right. go. Just to have a documentation about what happened in right. the past. Right. So I'm kind of regretting mm-hmm. that at least Me I too. have a photo then i can right. s- i have something to you know, remember that sucks too i don't have that many much, like i well it's all back at home right but right. I, right now i have nothing to just kind of like relate to my past like, right i want to thank our parent my parents especially because right. like, when i was younger we have all this picture yeah but... they'd force us to take pictures you right. know what keep keep taking pictures for real that thing that is so important to you okay you guys are gonna regret it if you don't but anyways zero thank you very much for your amazing tell me tell me message and mm-hmm. a question all right so it is our time to say goodbye to Corey. Alrighty, thank you very oh, much no. once more bud and the last time to- last song while mm-hmm. you're here that we are going to listen to is a song called my day by flesh i will see you next week Corey. thank you Peace. Bye-bye.